Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, back with another video. Today we're talking about a raster image test. And if you missed my first video on test grids, you might want to check that out. It's called Lifetime Creating a Laser Vector Test Grid, and there'll be a link to it at the end of this video. Today's video is going to be really short. Uh, we're talking about using a, a sample grayscale test on your hobby laser to know how to burn your images, how they're going to come out. Today you might be burning on balsa wood and you might have the perfect settings and tomorrow you burn on a piece of pine and all of a sudden it doesn't come out right and the next day you burn on a hardwood and the next day on a plywood every time you burn you should be running a test in this case the grayscale test and the reason for that is wood changes it gets drier over time if you have it stored in your shop a, a wet piece of wood one with a high moisture content is going to burn completely different than a dry piece of wood the same wood with a lower moisture content and you need to do sample tests on them before you burn and that's the purpose of this video and this video is going to be pretty quick i know sometimes i'm a little long-winded i like to try and cover all the bases but i'm going to make this one as quick as possible and here we have a grayscale test this is just a standard grayscale test you could find it anywhere on the internet i like to have mine about six inches that's why i scale it to 155 millimeters let's see what that is in inches um, 6.1 inches and you could have a bunch of different swaths of this you can just cut out a bunch of little six inch pieces of wood you might have one that's pine and one that's oak and so on and just keep them in your shop and you might even have several different speeds and I'll show you why this is the result of this image burning at 3000 speed on my or 20 watt laser and this is just a piece of pine so it's six inches by six inches and the reason that we burn this grayscale test is so we know how our graphic is going to come out on that particular wood now if i zoom in a little bit here you'll see that almost nothing burns from 20 percent down it's just like the wood on this side almost nothing so i would set my laser 25% minimum power up to right about here I would say maybe here 70% max because this is the end of the real change so I'd go from 70% max to 25% min and what that's going to do is it's going to give you the most possible shading that you can get from your laser on the image that you're about to burn so there there are no more colors down here so it won't burn anything at all now you could go down to 20 uh, if there are some real light spots in your photograph so maybe I would maybe I'd go 70 or 65 down to 20 maybe I would do that and that would be my scale and if you come over here all you have to do is double click this image and you'll see the speeds here now once you've done this and you've imported your image that you're going to burn I would change my max to 70 and my min to 20 and then I'd be ready to burn included in this file and I said this was going to be a quick video so to do to run these tests and make different swashes all you have to do is change this number up here with your text tool so if we wanted to change this to 2000 and I would definitely recommend that you burn several of these uh, I'd go 3000 2000 1000 just come up here and double click on the image and change this speed to 2000 just like that and we have 2000 speed and then well for me like I was saying earlier I would leave this at 100 leave this at 5 just so that I could see at 2000 speed the entire scale so we'll say okay to that now it's ready to burn the second swash so now you'll have your 3000 and your 2000 and then i suggest doing it one more time burning it at 1000 and keep these these swatches they'll be labeled 2000 3000 1000 speed and you can use them again in the future and if you come up here to the top the file that i'm going to include on my website for download is going to have if i go to show notes here file show notes it's going to have 
all of my successful baseline numbers in here things that i've successfully burned over the over the last couple of years and that's going to be everything from slate to aluminum and cell phones and softwood and hardwood and cutting material plywood cork uh, painted ceramic tile all of these settings are going to be in here that i've used successfully so you can use those settings as well as a baseline and that that's where i would start you know if you're new to this just take my settings that I use successfully on a particular type of material and transpose them into here. So for instance, if I were going to burn, um, let's say cork, for instance, I'd come in here and the line is for cutting. So let's say I was going to do an image. I would use fill 2000. I mean, well, this would be image, not fill. I'd use 2030 so I'd run the 2000 grayscale test and that's all I need to know is right there that 2000 2000 grayscale for my cork so I'd go ahead and run that I change this to 2000 that's all I, that's all you need to do very simple so this file along with all of my notes of things that I've successfully burned with powers and speeds is going to be included for a free download on my website so if you like this video and it helped you, please, you know, help me back. Give me a like, uh, give me a subscribe and help the channel grow. Thanks for watching and good luck.